head, the mercury, and all these different things, and separated it, we'd be a lot worse. Like me, I well, it used to be at the dollar thirty-five, but it might even be a couple dollars more than that now. If you broke down every everything that's in the body, I'm not saying we're worth a lot. We're not, not the body itself, especially when it breaks down. So, break a rock down if it has gold in it, it's worth a lot more than we'll ever be. Uh, or titanium, platinum, I mean, all those things, even diamonds and, and rubies and all that. Uh, well, now, I, I, I kind of explained about crystals. They're not rocks. They do vibrate at a higher vibration than any other rock does. They do a lot of different things that no other rock does. I work with a medicine woman, first person to teach crystals in the United States, Ocean of Basswell. And then people copyrighted her stuff and put out books and everything else. I'm not going to, I think Melanie put out a book after her and a couple other people did about crystals, rocks, and everything else. But the native people use crystals. And so did a priest behind the pulpit did for, for a period of time. And I'm sure they had no clue why. I, I found out I was in the church and I, and I always went where I wasn't supposed to. I looked behind the pulpit and there was a crystal ball in there. Why? Uh, you know, in a Jewish, they have this door that you can't open and things. I mean, uh, I was bad. When somebody says you can't do that as a child, well, what, why not? What's wrong? What's, what's going on that I'm not supposed to know? The truth? So always find the truth. Working in a Catholic church, in the, in the priesthood, in a school, Catholic school, going downstairs, seeing... Hundreds of bottles of wine being taken out every week. Then seeing all the girls' underwear in the priesthood, in the basement, and things. It was, it was, everything was perverted, always. So when did morals disappear? When I was little. I was abused and taxed so many different ways and times and stuff. Uh, so am I aware of what really goes on? Yes, I am. Does it bother me? No. I'm glad it's all over. I'm at a new place in my life, getting ready for death. I know my partner doesn't hear it. She said, well, I really can't stop you. I said, I, I didn't say, I know you can. It's not your, your choice. If God says I can leave, I will, period. When it lets me go. I, I had a chance once. I mean, I, I had other problems. I almost died so many times. But then the one time I said, do you want to leave? At that point, I wanted to finish my last book, which I did. The one that I really needed to get out, which I'm going to keep out there, mainstream until I die. The true teachings of Jesus from God realization. Being with Jesus when he was alive. Being a female in that lifetime. Understanding who Mary Magdalene really was. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is considered a saint in the Catholic religion. Because she supposedly gave birth to Jesus with immaculate conception. Watch the TV show on TV. <laughs> I didn't know I was pregnant. Nine months pregnant. I couldn't. I can't be pregnant. Uh, all those kind of shows. Uh, did Jesus have brothers? Of course he did. So did Mary ever have sex? Of course she did. Was it like immaculate? Well, people want to say it, call it that. To make somebody better, you got to make it sound better. If he if he was born naturally, he's not going to be so super powerful in their minds. Well, he had no real what father. Uh, denying everything he said My father, my father, he always mentioned his father But, uh, no, I don't want to go into that aspect But, again We each have this program That we're all one And if we accept that It becomes a burden It becomes a lock A padlock to us, to our To the ground It's not going to let us go any further If you think you're here to help everybody else on the planet I'm not I'm just putting it out there for the few souls that might listen and get something out of it. And maybe they won't have to have ten reincarnations after this. Or even two or three after this. If they're willing to work at it. And, and people say, I don't believe your truth. Well, I don't care. Because you're going to reincarnate next lifetime. You might get a little closer to the truth. Then you'll reincarnate again and get a little bit closer to the truth. Somewhere down the road, sooner or later, you might realize that there is a truth. But then, what if you're one of those souls? I don't want the truth. I don't ever want the truth. I'm happy being here. Well, that's where you'll stay. When the earth gets destroyed, you'll be put in the rest of the plane. 
When a new world is created, you'll be put back on it and live in the laws of this physical dimension, which are pretty pathetic. We can go into why God, God allows it. We will, but not right this second. Everything has a vibration. A rock has a low vibration. A tree's vibration is a little bit higher because sounds really make tr- plants active. If you take certain bird calls and put it on around trees and plants, they'll grow faster. Sonic Bloom proved it by by using algae and bird songs to make plants grow 20 to 50 times faster than they normally do. So they work with vibration. A rock doesn't. You blast a rock with a strong enough vibration, it shatters, yeah. But a plant, put the vibration on it, it feeds on it like humans do on vibration, good vibration, which we don't have much of. Now, the, the more solid something is, the lower the vibration is. Now, what happens to a tree when it's turned into a table? You're still connected to the table? Uh, when it was a tree, were you connected to the tree, if you believe that stuff? Now you're connected to the table? Well, take the table home with you and live with it. Uh, People want to believe some serious, ridiculous ideas. The truth's not complicated. The truth is never complicated. God's incredible in, in what it does and what it is and everything else. But it didn't create a reality and make it ten times harder for us. It gave us a reality to at least understand us itself as soul. Which is the greatest gift it could have gave us. Instead of being a void atom floating around in space doing nothing, unaware, becoming aware. So that makes us different than everything else. The moon, the sun, the stars, we're almost star. Go ahead, stay up there and shine your light uh, if that's what you want to do. It's temporary. Everything will disappear. Stars, planets, you name it. They'll all slowly, eventually disappear in time. What did it come back as? A human? Oh, I was a star, I was a frog, I was a horse. You can say all those things if that's what you want to believe. You can take on a body. The Hindu people say whatever, the, some tra- some parts of it do. Whatever they think of is what they're going to come back as. Well, don't think of a, a, a roach because you're going to come back as a roach. Uh, that's a sad way to think. So moves forward, at least if it's trying to. So if you're working on a spiritual path or trying to, and you're coming close to death, oh, I thought of a bug. It doesn't mean you're going to come back as a bug. If you believe that, you'll tell yourself you are, and hopefully you'll have the awareness when you come back as a human again, you'll be a little more aware. Uh, but that's limited to the level of what you're going to put yourself through when we're working through these vibrations that we claim are this, that, and the other thing. Turning a tree into a table is sad. Turning a tree into a house is sad. For the tree. I mean, not for the person that lives in the house. Uh, It's pouring. I don't know if you can hear it over the thing. I need to close a couple windows. I'm just going to play something for two seconds. Don't run. uh, Don't run away. I promise I'll be right back. Uh, what should we start with? I don't know. Just something simple for as fast as I can. I'll be right back.
Well, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to close a couple windows. It's raining. The moisture gets in here and things start getting moldy and mildew and stuff real fast. Another good thing about Hawaii. Really? Uh, so, when I talk about when we compare ourselves to something, compare yourself to something important. I mean, don't get an ego about it, but don't compare yourself to a rock, a worm, caterpillar. I mean, a caterpillar goes through tree changes. The metamorphosis that it does, no, very few creatures can do that. But in its awareness, it, it could be going through this greatest thing. Imagine swimming in the water, in the lava, and coming out, growing this worm body, and walking around on climbing up trees, and then sprouting a pair of wings and start flying. So you get to see all levels of life. So what do you think a butterfly would want to come back as? See, we, we think of things in, in some kind of weird way, and we don't follow through. And my, my suggestion is, no matter what it is, what your truth is, what you believe in, and take it to its limit. Push it. Push it, push it, push it. Because you're going to get you somewhere more aware to the truth if you do. Well, he said this, I'm going to accept that. No. Don't accept anything. Unless you really don't care. And if you don't care, don't push yourself to even find out about it. If there's something you're passionate about and believe in, go to the ends. If you want to learn about love, who is the first person to say I love you? Does anybody know? When was love really in existence, which it wasn't in for, for a super long time? They never used the word in Atlantis. Uh, you can feel vibration and stuff. So it was, it was different. We have the five senses now, and we, we live by them. I mean, smell, taste, sense, uh, all that. But as far as what they're good for, making us believe certain things, making us things taste better than they are, everybody uses spices on things. I guess they don't like to taste the food. And then they put heavy spices on it. Again, they don't like to taste the food. So do you eat things that taste good or do you eat things that are supposed to make you healthy? Now you have to eat things that make you healthy. But they're not out there. We compare ourselves to everything. We're comparing ourselves to animals because we eat just about anything. So when you compare yourself to a rock, compare yourself to a, a, a mountain lion, a, a, liger, a lion or a tiger. that are carnivorous, meat eaters, that love to eat meat. We eat anything. Anything that moves, we'll eat it somewhere on this planet. Some race will. Cat, dog, kangaroo, you name it. And there's somebody eating it. Dolphins, whales. It's sad. We don't have morals. Moses at least had that moral of certain things we shouldn't eat and certain things we should. His morals about it was were, were twisted. Cloves, hoofs, and things like that were the things that they couldn't eat. Uh, crows on its belly. Uh, people crow on their bellies. I mean, some tribes ate humans. So it's a twisting of reality that I keep telling you, if you search it out, whatever it is, you'll see the truth. You'll get closer to it. The more you try, the more you'll see, the more you'll understand. Love is a delusional word for the human race. Man wants to hear it no matter what. Say you love me. I love you. I love you. Let's get married. We're married. And then they break apart next year. So what did that love mean? Anything? Well, when Jesus said he loved Mary, uh, I don't think there was anybody on this planet that could have meant more of what he said than what he said.